Okay, welcome to another great debate. Stick around for the whole video. We're gonna be discussing Yuri Prohaska versus Alex Pareja. It's gonna be a lot of different talking points, playing devil's advocate and basically just seeing who we think gonna come out on top and how this fight affects the division and what are the implications of this fight, which obviously we will have a champion. So y'all like the video, leave a comment, and let us know what y'all think, but let's go ahead and dive into it. Hey, I like this fight because both of these guys got a lot of knockout power, but one thing about it, I know people are gonna say Alex chin issues, which I don't think he has chin issues. He got knocked out by one person in the UFC, and it looked like he was about to knock Izzy out, and he got caught slipping. But we can't pretend like Yuri hadn't been dropped in every last one of his UFC fights either. He's literally been dropped, rocked, or hurt in all these fights. And according to the logic, I know it was prior to the UFC, but Yuri has been knocked out before too. So we can't act like he has been knocked out before. I know that was years ago, because I think King Mo knocked him out. King Mo? Yeah, King Mo knocked him out. Oh, so he was knocked out by King Mo, which that ain't the worst thing, because there was a point in time where King Mo was that guy. So- 2015, uh, he was that dude. Yeah, so obviously Yuri, he knows how to deal with it now, obviously being hurt in fights. But the point is, I always told you this. I said, Yuri's chin gonna catch up to him because a lot of these fights that he's won, he didn't outskill his opponent. He didn't necessarily out grapple them or out strike them. He just out chinned them. Dominic Reyes almost put him down. He out chinned Dominic Reyes. He out chinned Volcan. Volcan hurt him. He out chinned Glover. Glover hurt him several times. Almost finished him in the first round. That's the danger in fighting against Yuri because Yuri, if you don't get that first round knockout, then he's in for a long night. Cause yeah. even when Yuri fought against Glover, man, the fact that Glover couldn't finish him early on, it just kind of made it worse for Glover over time. And it's so odd because you cannot use your chin for that long, but for some reason, his durability is like ridiculous, man. Normally fighters don't go this long fighting like that without having some type of recent knockout loss you know what i mean but, it's but, also, but he also does a lot of things tucks his chin real good he always man that dude his chin is not in the air like some but, of these other but guys but when he do get hit he get cracked dominic reyes and i never could stop saying it year he said it. he said dominic had me i was gone but something told me to spin around and throw the elbow so even out of his own mouth out of the horse's mouth he said it but i will say this something about this fight man it's the ground game I'm not, oh, I'm yeah, not gonna lie. definitely gonna take him down. Yeah, if you think Yuri gonna that's why stand I, up with Alex for 25 what, and minutes. That's why I was saying Alex, he has to finish Yuri probably in the first and second round. Cause you don't want Yuri in the fourth and fifth round. He submitted Glover with what? 30 seconds left to go in the fifth round. So Alex, he can't play that game with him, bro. At all. And the reality is, if you think Yuri is not gonna grapple with him, you've lost your mind. He I know he can, he can sit there and say all that. Or what did he say? Yuri said he's more well-rounded. He said, I'm more well-rounded. He said, I have better ground game than Alex. Oh, we know what that means. But there are opportunities for him to win on the feet, too. Because we haven't seen Alex. Sometimes he will abandon his striking defense. It's not the worst, not as bad as Yuri's is. But sometimes he does take some damage that he shouldn't take. Like against, what was it, Bruno? Yeah. Against Bruno Silva, he took like a bunch of damage against Bruno, man. Not well, he, I think he only had four or five fights in MMA total at the same time. Yeah, but he's then. supposed to be the better striker. And yeah, but he also he was trying to worry about get submitted and getting taken down and there's a lot of other factors going into it but you're right though because yuri he's definitely going to wrestle he's definitely going to implement grappling we saw yuri take down dominic reyes am i tripping dominic reyes hurt him and then he took dominic reyes down and john jones didn't even take down dominic reyes you know what i mean so yuri i know we'd be seeing these knockouts but yuri, have, but yuri he don't set his takedowns up the best man i'm saying against alex he can run to the knee because clearly yuri is the better grappler but if he don't set it up properly, because Yuri, his striking or his fight IQ ain't the highest. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I can see him going in for a takedown without setting it up and running into something. But what's the game plan for Yuri and what's the game plan for Alex? Because Alex, Alex needs to finish him early. He That's a to, dangerous bet to make in a five round fight, man. He's going to have to, he gonna have to throw the head kick after every combination. Because Yuri, the fact that he fight with his hands down, and we've been seeing like a bunch of guys in the UFC getting out there with head kicks as of lately. Every combination, Alex got to end it with a head kick, bro, to try to catch Gary slipping. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, or at least have it there in the repertoire just so if the opportunity but, is there. Yeah, but also, I don't think he has better hands than Gary. I think Gary, if it was a straight boxing match, I think Gary has way better hands. So Alex going to have to incorporate the kicks there anyway. I was thinking about the leg kicks, too, because I think people kind of been forgetting about the kick lately because the hands been doing good and the grappling been getting better for Alex. So, hey, but I want to say this, too, man. Alex Jiu-Jitsu, I know we don't really see videos of him grappling a whole bunch, but we always see videos of him sparring, right? Yeah. I'm kind of wondering, like, how good is the ground game? Because is there a world where he could actually hurt Yuri and maybe submit him? 
I don't think so, man. I don't think he fights that way. Ellis, he kind of stick to what he does well, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think if he hurt Yuri, he may have to submit him. That might be his only path to victory. The only thing Yuri. about that is Glover tried to do the same thing and couldn't do it. But that was also a combination of Glover making a whole bunch of mistakes. But a low IQ Glover on the ground is probably the same as uh, Alex doing the best he can on the ground. And also so we I seen, don't... and also we seen, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. We seen Glover hurt Yuri. And if that was Alex, the fight would have been over. Cause Alex would have went to body, he would have went back up with the left hook, the fight would have been over. But it was times where Glover hurt him and then for whatever reason, he didn't finish him. Yeah. But I want to say this is definitely a good fight, man, because both of these guys got ways to win. Yuri definitely has more ways to win. But then we got to also remember he coming back from an injury. How was that shoulder? Is he going to be throwing punches? Is he going to be able to move the same way as far as the striking offense? Even when it comes to the grappling, man, because him and Glover had some crazy grappling exchanges. Remember, Glover put him in a yeah. lot of submission attempts. Is that shoulder all the way healed? Dude, I just thought about this, man. Yuri, he capitalizes on his opponent's mistakes against Dominic Reyes. He was able to capitalize against Glover. He was able to capitalize in the fifth round. What if he fight against Alex, who not really gonna make that many mistakes? Cause it was a video of uh, Alex sparring with Gregory Rodriguez, and it looked like Alex's striking defense was a little bit better. Like he had like a little Philly shell defense, and he was able to avoid like a lot of punches. He was moving his head. If that version of Alex fight against Yuri, and he don't make that many mistakes, maybe there's no opportunity for Yuri to win. But fight. you know, you know one thing with you saying that, and with what you said earlier about Yuri has to be careful on his takedown entries. Yeah. The thing about Yuri is his grappling is just as wild as his striking. Like when he took down Dominic Reyes, there wasn't no double leg takedown. That was like just because you don't it, a great. So the thing is, it's unexpected. It, his unexpected style is definitely going to help him as well. So even if the striking defense from Alex is better, Yuri, his whole arsenal is just unconventional. It's going to be a lot that he got to look out for. Even with the striking defense, might be good. But their takedown defense is going to have to be solid too because it ain't going to be no regular takedowns. And you just never know when he's going to do what. Yeah. And Yuri might look like he's going for a takedown. He might come up top with a spinning and back also, elbow again. You never also, know. And also, we we know Alex is a dangerous knockout guy, but we also see Alex in the second and third round where it looked like he wasn't really pulling the trigger sometimes. And like I would hate to see him in that second and third round against Yuri and Yuri catch him. You know, catch him like kind of slipping a little bit. It's like Alex, sometimes he can like spar with people sometimes, man. Like, especially when he's fighting like a yawn or somebody that's dangerous. He don't do it all the time, but I can see him in the second or third round where he's kind of like a little bit. But as long as he, as long as he keeping the fight on the feet, that's a W because he giving himself a chance. Say like against Yuri, say like he's not as aggressive as he probably should and, be. It's, it's, it's funny you say that because on the opposite end, Yuri is trying to steal the fight at every second of the fight. Even when he losing, even when you hurt him, he's spinning. Even when you hurt him, he's doing something. It's like there's never a moment where, unless he's just walking you down or something, there's never a moment where Yuri's just like comfortable. And it never looked like a glorified sparring match. It just looked like he's just there to win. And like you said, sometimes Alex can be kind of tentative because you got to remember, like we all know this, he coming from a kickboxing background. So he always got to be worried about the takedown. Even if there's mm -hmm. not, no takedown being attempted, there's a looming threat of, yeah. even if I hurt this person, if they grab me, the, man, why do they got his eyes looking like this on this poster on the UFC website? He look like he's high. Oh, that's how Alex always looks. But his eyes look yellow anyway, though. But I'm, the, uh, I'm going to tell you one thing, man. This fight is not good for Izzy. It's not really going to make Izzy look good at all, man, because Izzy's supposed to be one of the all-time greats, and he had hey. opportunity to get the he had opportunity to win in light heavyweight division, he didn't. Hey, and I'm going to tell you something else. If Alex wins this fight, does he become everything we thought Izzy was going to become? I don't think so, man, because Izzy accomplished way more in the middleweight division. Yeah, but on the opposite end, Alex is closing the gap in different ways. It might not be that long That's win true. streak, See, if, but in actual accomplishments in combat sports. In combat, in combat sports. Because people talk about that a lot because people are saying Henry Cejudo is one of the greatest. Obviously, not because his numbers are as good as some of these other guys, like GSP and whatever, but it's because he accomplished a lot in different sports. Can you say the same thing about Alex? If Alex become like heavyweight champion, is he one of the greatest combat sports? And when have we ever seen a kickboxer come to the UFC and win a championship in general? That's rare because a lot of times they get taken down. Taken down. Even if they don't get submitted, they always just struggle against grapplers. But except for the middleweight division, the middleweight division always historically had a striker as a champion. So that was a There's w. always going to be an asterisk next to Alex's name. You know why? Because of how thin the light heavyweight division is. That's the only bad thing that comes from this is because it don't matter who really win 
the belt is changing hands so often that like Humpty Dumpty might be champion. That basically a kickboxer from a lower weight class from another sport can come in and become the champion in two years. But it's weird because he's not a normal middleweight. He exactly. was never a middleweight. He, he was always a big guy. He's not a normal fighter either. You know, man, if Alex was able to win this fight, man, I think that he might put himself in a position to be on the same level of as Izzy all time. Realistically, like you said, if he was able to win the light heavyweight belt, only thing that could save it is if Izzy come back and fight for the belt in some kind of way he was able to win the belt. But Alex might actually even the odds here a little bit. Cause he definitely beat an overall UFC accomplishments. I mean, you gotta think about it, man. He become a light heavyweight champion. He a two weight class champion in two different sports. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. And him and Izzy in the UFC, at least, I only count those fights because they definitely cheated them other ones. Well, at least one of those other ones outside of the UFC. But in the UFC, they're one and one. This could set up a big fight with Izzy when Izzy come back. We don't know what's gonna happen Izzy, legally and stuff. But, he, but he dropped the ball when he lost to Sean Strickland because he's not the champion no more. So unless Izzy comes and he beats, who we said, Nikita? If he fights like a Nikita. And I think that's dangerous right now. I think I Nikita that. is on a win streak and Nikita is lightning in the bottle. I don't he like that. More likely would beat Nikita, man. Man, we get to the point where. But we don't know which mindset of Izzy. Exactly. Because even when he fought against Jan, his mindset was good. He looked good against Jan, to be honest. He made them one mistake in the fifth round when he got taken down. But if the version that fucking Sean Strickland shows up, he's getting finished. He's getting knocked out by any of these guys. Honestly, he can't even get hit like that against Khalil Roundtree, which I know, unless Khalil worked his way up a whole lot, he can't even show up like that against hey, Dustin Jacoby, if I'm hey, being truthful. Hey, Alex has an opportunity to accomplish something that we've never seen before. Just think about it. Look how big he is. He might be able to go up to the heavyweight division, bro, and get that belt, too. Realistically, he has the best chances of doing that. I never thought If he fights that. anybody that's not Sergey or John Jones, but even against, well, he ain't beating John Jones. Oh, you can forget that. Yeah, yeah that's, we know how to fight that's, that's definitely over. We don't know what Alex thinks about because he is big. It was a picture of him standing next to Tyson Fury, and Tyson's supposed to be six foot nine, and Alex was just underneath him. You know, so it was like, bro, he's a I big think guy. they be, they be. But I don't think Tyson's really six nine. Yeah, they be lying. You know, it, I don't believe nothing about Tyson. I don't believe it. And anyway, never mind. That's another message. Message. That's another story for another day. But y'all, this has been another one. Great debate. Let us know what you're thinking. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell at the top.